right, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. The song that came through for this reading was Patty LaBelle. If you don't know me by now, you'll never, never, never know. Me. <laughs> there was a couple other songs that came through. There was a Morgan Wade song that came through. But I can't remember the name of it. So we're just going to go with the Patty LaBelle song. Okay. Alright, let's jump right in. Holy Spirit, may we please have a reading for our highest and greatest good as a collective for spiritual growth. Alright, let's start out with this book. I'm, I'm getting fond of this book. It's interesting. Don't avoid reality. Protect your heart. Don't avoid reality and protect your heart. Interesting way to start a reading, folks. All right. What kind of healing do we need as a collective? Some of us are sick and just need healing, period. And then some of us need to know how teachable are we with cycle at the at the bottom of the deck. So where are you at in the cycle that you're currently in? Some of us need physical healing. You could have something going on with your shoulder. You could have something going on with your hands. You, know, you could have allergies. You could have something going on with your eyes. You could have a toothache. And if you have any of these things, I'm sending you a lot of love and positivity. All right, spirit. How are you working in the collective? The star. Spirit says I'm giving you hope. Hope and a higher font on the bottom of the deck. The higher font is a higher level commitment like a marriage or any, any institution where you have to sign a contract. So... It could be a marriage, it could be an engagement, it could be going off to college. It's a lot of different things. It just depends on what situation you are in in your life. What virtues are you working on in the collective spirit? What virtues are you working on? Thank you so very much. Oh, my ear itches. Self-control. And service. So this is about us working and having self-control. And also having forgiveness. So some of you want to need to forgive and be gentle. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's find out more about this by looking at the energy oracle today. Speak to you, Spirit. <clears throat> There's a man holding a heart and a storm warning. There's deceit and a storm warning. Wow. Remember, protect your heart. Deceit and the fourth chakra, the throat chakra. I'm sorry, the fifth. The throat chakra, the fifth chakra. Deceit, someone is speaking deception. All right, talk to me, Spirit, about what's going on in the collective. That's a lot of cards. All right, there's a woman holding a heart in reverse. There's a caring connection. There's our third chakra, the goddess of the moon in reverse, and a journey with the seventh chakra, Archangel Metatron, which is your third eye. Your intuition. And I'm going to take the time to find out what Spirit is saying here because this is the meat of the reading. Number 44, this woman holding a heart in reverse. It says this. It's a female dealing with family love or emotion. The card reverse could indicate a state of being emotionally overwhelmed and you may feel as though your love life is turned upside down. It could also 
refer to some difficulty in a family matter or close friendship. If this is the case, it's time to let go or resolve things now. There's also a possibility that this woman reversed is no reversed is someone who brings a negative emotional influence to your life. There may be jealousy, resentment, or even more trouble manipulations going on. Don't take things personally, but endeavor to bring greater clarity and calm empowerment to the situation now. And always remember to bring a loving, heartfelt energy to yourself. I am emotionally calm and peaceful. <coughs> so there's a woman here that is being deceptive is what I think. They don't have somebody's best interest at heart. And then we have number 14. It's a, there's, there's some trouble within your circle of friends or family. Caring connections means this. This card shows a couple in a tender embrace with a woman holding a blossom of new love. Like the community card that reveals a caring connection but usually between two people only. This card upright signals the beginning of, or the developing of a kindred spirit friendship or even the appearance of new love. It can also signify a formal business partnership. When this card appears to be when this card appears, be on the lookout for new connections possess, pre, presenting themselves. Sorry. The relationships you already share may become more intimate, purposeful, or present or present themselves in time at this time. Why can't I read? Help me, Spirit. Notice the opportunities to forge new or deeper on bonds. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. So you you have a kindred spirit, somebody who you're, you're good friends with or family with or somebody who's a very close caring connection. They could have they could just be a friend and it's moving into a love relationship. And then number 37, we have um, Archangel Chimuel. And Chimuel is about our solar plexus area. And this is what this means. It's so bright. The powerful Archangel Chimuel is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus, which is located at your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When this card appears upright, it indicates an increased enthusiasm in present or seem to be on its way. Um, what I missed. It indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or seem to be on its way. So you're about to get more enthusiastic about stuff. This is a great time to move toward the comp completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. So you have an angel with you that's, um, that's showing you that you can do things, that there are things that you want to do, that you want to accomplish. And this is the, the solar plexus, is the, art, the part of your body that says, I can accomplish these things. I have the power to accomplish whatever I'm needing to accomplish. 
<clears throat> so work with the energy that's coming in your sphere right now, which is Archangel Chimuel. And then number 52, Goddess of the Moon. This one came out in reverse. <clears throat> and in reverse, this is about in intuition and going within. In reverse, it says, this card reverse reveals blocked intuition and inner d disconnect or the sense of, of living in the dark. You have a deep desire to know your purpose and truth, but they can feel very distant. This is a message of, di of dissatisfaction where your inner life is concerned. It's possible that extreme worry and discontent are the obstacles to the inner peace and wisdom that you seek. If so, let go and renew your faith in yourself and your eternal spirit. Get out of your own way and release your fear that's blocking you from your truth, true, that's blocking your, you, I'm sorry. Get out of your own way and release the fear that's blocking the truth of your blessed eternal nature. Your soul, your higher self, knows you better. So allow stillness into your life. Listen to the stirring of your own intuitive voice and trust what you receive. So you're not using your intuition because you're not taking time to listen for the answers to come. And Spirit's saying, just take a moment and listen and the answers will come. All right, and then journey number two says this. Pack your bags. The journey card foretells upcoming travel or a shift in location. It may be as simple as a vacation or retreat or a class or even a work-related trip. This card... <coughs> Could also signal a move of residence or job relocation. The upright position indicates that the plans should go off without a hitch. Still, be clear about your motivations and mindful of logistics. All of life is a journey, and this card is telling you that you have some exciting and inspiring adventures ahead. So you're about to start something new that's going to make travel a part of the plan. You might be moving. You heard what, what was said. And then number 40 is your third eye. You know, you're not using your intuition here. Over here, you're going to start using your intuition. That's what I'm seeing. Archangel Metatron, clarity of thought and personal vision. This very powerful Archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibration to your brow chakra or third eye, which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought. When this card appears upright, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective towards broader horizons. <clears throat> Some new perceptions are taught Sorry. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you or your way of developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. <clears throat> now is the time to focus on your personal envision your personal vision what do you want what do you want your life to look like in the years ahead create a clear picture of that and support it with your with your clarity of thought the the insight you need to create a vibrate to create 
a vibrant life is available to you now. Okay, so we have a lot going on, collective. There's a woman in your life that doesn't have your best interest at heart. And you have a caring connection. And it's like you realize you can do this, but you're not using your intuition about a journey. For some reason, some kind of travel. You're going to end up traveling, I think, or moving. And I don't think you see it coming. But we'll wait and see what Spirit has to say. How about that? Alright, so let's just dig right on in. I'm going to use these. I love these new cards. And I can't wait to try the room to row. We're going to try that one soon. I have the Emperor and the Five of Cups. So there's been an Emperor who has suffered massive loss. Why is the star here, Spirit? May I see, please? The Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. A lot of fives are showing up in this reading so far. Fives are a very low vibe. They indicate a lot of struggle and stress. The Five of Pentacles and the Magician. The Five of Pentacles is like being in the poorhouse. All right, Spirit, why is, why is hope here? Hope is here because of the High Priestess, the Two of Cups in Reverse, and the Tower. Wow. Because intuitively you know that there is a relationship that's about to break up. Clarify this, this two of cups. The queen of cups in reverse. The king of pentacles in reverse. And the three of swords in reverse. So... We have, that, that explains it perfectly, a king of pentacles and a queen of cups that are separating because somebody got hurt. Can you tell me what the tower represents? Death, the four of swords, and the queen of wands in reverse. So Scorpio is here. Aquarius is here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's, somebody's having to go through something very hard. They could even be sick and in the hospital. It says changing the way you handle money or changing the pattern, your, your patterns of behavior. You need some rest or rest after hard work. <clears throat> and then the Queen of Wands is a Leo card. And they are usually romantic, loyal, and always busy. When it comes to money, they have, they have creativity and... They like to do what they love. But I'm getting the feeling that something has happened to this Queen of Wands. That she may be sick. Something may be wrong with this Queen of Wands. What's wrong with the Queen of Wands, Spirit? Why is she needing rest? She might be the reason for the breakup. The Magician and the Six of Cups. The Magician is in reverse. So 
So this person is the manipulator. That's this woman that doesn't have your best interest at heart. This Leo vibe. For some reason, there's a lot of memories of this woman. All right, why is the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck? Because of the Six of Swords. The Knight of Cups. The Ace of Wands. Justice. The Nine of Swords. I think that's it. Okay. The reason why... this has happened like this is because somebody was ready to move on they had they had feelings romantic feelings and a lot of sexual attraction to the point where it was stressing them out And somehow this is justice. I want to find out more about what's going on here. Spirit, show me how this happened. Somebody had to apologize. Somebody shut down. There was a divorce. And now there's just this waiting game of divorce. You're waiting for the divorce to come through. All right, what's being hidden? That somebody needs one last chance. Trust your intuition. They got a problem with flings. And you've reached your breaking point. So they're asking secretly somebody wants, a, wants another chance. And Spirit's saying, trust your intuition. You know that they like to cheat. And you know that you've reached your breaking point. Alright, well what's being shown then? That they can't be trusted. What's going to happen next? Somebody's incomparable and they're missing you. Somebody is incomparable and they're missing you. Hmm. I don't know what to say. It sounds like to me that this is pretty cut and dry. What part did this King of, I mean, Queen of Wands play in this? Trust the plan. There was gossip about I choose you, but uh, yeah, not for you, and making a decision with forever changed on the bottom of the deck. So the Queen of Wands was trusting the plan. There was gossip. I choose you not for you and making a decision all right what was the gossip the queen of wands and the gossip tell me the gossip about this queen of wands the queen of wands has bugaboo being sick remember i told you somebody looked like they were sick somebody does not want to hear it they have a lot of depression and they're falling apart with coming in after you on the bottom of the deck. Alright. What part did the Queen of Cups play in this? They're in their feelings and this is game over for them. So they're over this. What about the King of Pentacles? King of Pentacles betrayed somebody and they need to check themselves. And they're expecting a new beginning. Ooh, doing drugs, and they're a great actor. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. And knowing they fucked up on the bottom of the deck. Alright, so somebody's life was forever changed here, and I guess it was with all of that sh shenanigans going on. Alright, 
Spirit, how can I give some guidance here? Let's find out what's, what's going on here, Spirit. What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? Somebody's going to have acceptance. So, acceptance about what? Their finances. And something that was strictly sexual. That caused rejection and obsession and longing. And what's going to be the outcome? You're on different pages. Somebody wants a second chance. You're unavailable and you need to know that Spirit's giving you a warning. What do you mean giving us a warning? Somebody's vulnerable. It's fate. There needs to be an apology. This was a spiritual lesson. And there needs to be balance <clears throat> on the bottom of the deck. Alright. Show me what we need to know moving forward. That somebody is awakening. Mars is involved. Very hot attraction. Somebody is a very controlling person. And then somebody wants to move and get their own place. Start over. They want a new opportunity. What's going to be the outcome of that? Twin flame, healing, and growth, and union. Twin flame, healing, growth, and union. Anything else we need to know? Somebody's wearing a facade. And they're celebrating gifts and abundance. Why are they wearing a facade? of the of the memories what do you mean pretending like they're celebrating memory they're actually closed off guard and resistant and they have a lot of lack and doubt so they're pretending like they're happy but really, they have a lot of lack and doubt, and they're closed off. Why do they feel this way? Because of suffering in the past and clinging to their comfort zone. What's the likelihood this can change? It says there's going to be a renewal, a spark. They're going to have self-worth. And they're going to have an offer of love. <clears throat> Outcome of the offer of love. There's going to be a dark night of the, of the soul. You're going to take a leap of faith. Have stability. Don't force it. They're moving into the north node. Don't force it was in the wrong deck. So right now they're going through a really dark, shadowy, difficult time. But they're about to take a leap of faith that's going to bring them stability. So you're saying, don't force it. They're moving into their north moon. So give them some space right now. Talk to me about this person's money spirit. What's going on with collective money? Right now we're exploring, taking risks, and unlocking. What do we clarify the risk? It has to do with change, a gift, our help, being a student, having good luck, and a new beginning. Outcome of luck. Somebody's doing spell work. And they're planning on being happy. The office is here. Making an investment. Sharing. 
teaching and going slow. So that was like <laughs> spirituality on the bottom end of that. Where am I moving so slow toward the crossroad? Why is how, what's the out what's the outcome of Star? Somebody's emotions being grounded. Yeah, yeah. Growing up and having a job as a designer. All right, what should we do at the crossroads? Sure, it says don't talk about it. It has to do with the mechanic juggling something undecided and an odd job. And it has to do with a loss also. Sure, it says don't talk about it. So we don't talk about it, all right? All right. Okay. Let me pull one of these and then we'll close for today. And I'll come back later with another video. Alright, may I have one card that would go perfect with this reading. saying to us this morning. Number 16, freaking beautiful, says this. You are here to march to your own beat. You can be happy and free whether the world looks at you with all admiration, confusion, or love, or all of these at once. Others can love you even if they can't always understand you. Being different doesn't have to mean be, being alone. It's only when you ch try to change yourself to fit into a stereotype that you will lose your way becoming unhappy, discovering obstacles, and feeling increasingly rejected and defeated. The universe doesn't want you to be someone else. It wants you to be you. When when we quit trying to fit in and enjoy being ourselves, we win. In Bright Destiny, number 14, says this. <coughs> it's okay to feel unclear or even confused about what's happening in your life um, or within... It's okay to feel unclear or even confused about what's happening in your life or within you at this time. It's like that because you're going through soul growth. Things will... Oh, I need glasses. Things will become clear in time. For now, however, let the process happen. Fear can make you try to force something that isn't quite ready yet. Don't try to impose a meaning, take action, or understand it all prematurely. Don't think too hard. When it's time for you to know, you'll know. It's okay to relax and trust that the moment of clarity will come when the time is right. All right, Spirit. Who are you talking to? D M M J S P R. T O D M M P M. S O P 
PX in TF. Z E G A N M W one more time R I J U M W F trinket case. Oh my goodness! Look, I got the engagement ring. I haven't gotten it in a long time. I have a leaf for the fall. I have learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. I have a kitty cat, a butterfly, and dream, hope, trust, love. And congratulations on that engagement. Please do let me know if this resonates with you. That's beautiful. I have a feather. I thought I heard one fall. I did. It's a metal head gear. <laughs> a military pendant. A kundalini. A red marble. Two infinity signs, a tramp stamp, two Eiffel Towers, a Harry Potter nine and three quarters, an anchor, and an arrow with a heart on the end. All right, you guys, be blessed. I'll be back after a while, and I'll do another individual sign. I'm not sure which one yet Spirit will choose. Thank you for your participation for watching for anything you do to support my channel um, one way that you can really show love is by sharing the content either on your social media or by word of mouth and that helps me to reach my financial goals so that I don't have to charge anything for the content okay have a blessed day I love you guys bye bye